So uh, my other partner at the time said, well, let's, why don't you go out and find a rice that's special, that we can put our name on and we can develop a brand around. And I looked everywhere, and the only thing I could find was here at LSU. A uh, agronomist out of the field research farm had developed a rice that was uh, naturally higher in protein. So we did have a negotiation with LSU, the Ag Center, Intellectual Property Office to grow this rice. The people over at the Ag Center, uh, that was really kind of their, their bailiwick, and that's what they wanted to do. We kind of guided each other through the process. Not only was it naturally higher in protein, it's also got a, what's called a lower glycemic index. Um, it's, it's a great rice for people watching their blood sugar. On top of that, it's non-GMO. We have no additives, no preservatives. So it's, it's, it's really a healthier rice. That rice had a good milling potential, very good cooking characteristics. I think Dr. Winifreda worked on that for maybe more than 10 years. She really had a mission to bring the world a healthier rice. We kind of reached an agreement with the Intellectual Property Office to grow it. We're just in Southern Illinois, uh, where we have our farm, and out in Eunice, Louisiana. Okay. You've got a rice that tastes great, doesn't create a spike in blood sugar like regular rices do, and they can keep eating a healthy, good-tasting rice.